Welcome, my name is Leanna Diane and this is Yoga Lotties. This is all levels, it will be a little bit of core work, a little bit of a workout, um, and of course fused with yoga. So yoga, yoga, Lotties is a combination of yoga and Pilates. So we're sitting up straight on our mat. We're gonna start with the back of our wrists resting on our knees. We're gonna close our eyes. We're just gonna start with a little bit of centering here. Breathing in through our nose and exhaling through our mouths. We're sitting up nice and straight and tall so our spine is lengthened. Just finding our space here on our mat, bringing our awareness inward. And on our next inhale, we'll open our eyes and reach our arms all the way up toward the ceiling. On the exhale, we'll press our palms to heart center, then take another big sweeping wide inhale, reach our arms out to the sides, all the way overhead, and on the exhale, we'll fold forward, just slide our fingers forward. Inhale to lengthen our spine, and on the exhale, see if we can fold a little bit deeper. Then walk your hands over to the right side. Take an inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands over to the left side. Inhale, lengthening your spine. And exhale, fold. Coming back through the center, walk your hands back to yourself. Take a big, wide inhale. Reaching your arms overhead on the exhale, dropping the right arm, we'll reach over with the left, but keep our hip bones on the mat and then press against the mat so you lengthen through the left side. Inhale back up through the center on the exhale, dropping the left arm, reaching over with the right and then lengthening all the way through the right side. Press into the mat to create a little bit more length. Then on the inhale, reach your arms overhead and on the exhale, we'll twist, dropping the left hand to the right knee. Bringing the right arm behind your back, inhale to lengthen your spine, and on the exhale, twist and look over the right shoulder. Inhale back up through center, exhale switching sides, right hand left knee, inhale lengthen your spine, exhale twist. Inhale back up through center. Exhale, press your palms to heart center, then sweep your arms beside you. Press your hands onto the mat, and on the inhale, lift your hips and roll your shoulder blades back. Exhale, sink your hips back to the mat. We'll switch the cross of our feet. Take another inhale, reach our arms overhead. Exhale, press our palms to heart center, sweep our arms along our sides, and on the inhale, press our hips forward, roll our shoulder blades back. Coming back to a seat on our mat, taking a big inhale. On the exhale, we'll walk our hands forward and bring ourselves to a tabletop position. So tabletop position. Our knees are below our hips and our wrists are below our shoulders. Palms are flat on the mat. We're going to inhale, drop our belly, look up toward the ceiling. On the exhale, pull our navel to our spine, rounding through our back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, navel to spine. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lengthen all the way through your back. One more inhale. Exhale, come back to neutral. We'll straighten through the left leg, pressing the tip of our toes onto the edge of the mat. Maybe even lift the right knee. Really draw your knee into your chest, sinking your weight back as far as you can onto that left heel. Then lower the right knee to the mat. We'll lift the right leg, reaching forward with the right arm. This will be your inhale. On the exhale, bring your knee and elbow together beneath you. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. We've got eight more counts here. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, 
two. And the last one, bend your right knee, left knee, reach back with your right hand and catch your foot. Taking that foot into your hand, it'll lift your chest. And then release right back through your tabletop position. We'll switch sides, straightening to the right leg, pressing the tip of your toe onto the edge of the mat. Lift through your left knee so that you can sink your weight back. Really draw that knee into your chest, sinking through that right heel with all of your weight. Then lower the left knee to the mat, lifting the right leg, reaching forward with the left arm. We'll take an inhale, and on the exhale, bring your knee and elbow together beneath you. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Eight more counts. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, last one, bend the right knee, reach back with your left hand, kicking that foot into your hand to lift your chest. And then release right back into your tabletop position. We'll walk our hands forward about six inches, dropping our hips over to the right, then sinking them to the left. Inhale, lift your chest, we're making big figure eights with our bodies. And then try those figure eights in the opposite direction, sinking your left hip back first. Inhale, lift your chest, big circles here. Awesome, we'll come back through our tabletop position, walking our hands back underneath our shoulders. We're going to straighten through the left leg, allowing the top of our left foot to rest on the mat. Then lift that left leg up toward the ceiling, but keeping your hips square, you should be squeezing through your lower back so that you're strengthening your lower back. Then lower that left leg back to the mat. Lift, and then lower, lift, and then lower, keeping your shoulders level, hips level, squeezing your glutes for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Awesome. Lower the left knee to the mat. Let's switch sides. Straightening the right leg. Allow the top of your right foot to rest on the mat. Then lift it up toward the ceiling. Lower back down. Just gently tap the mat. Lift and lower. Lifting and lowering for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring that right knee back to the mat. Lifting the left leg out to the left side so that you're opening up to your hip. Then lower back down. Just gently touch the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. For eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome switching sides on the inhale, lifting the right leg out to the right side. Lower back down, tap the mat for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Awesome. Lower the right knee. We'll straighten to the left leg. And we're just going to draw circles on the back of the room. Try to keep your spine lengthened, looking toward the front of your mat. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, back through tabletop, switching sides, back onto the right side, lengthening through that right leg, and then drawing circles on the wall behind you. For 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Back through tabletop. We'll tuck our tuck our knees, lift our hips, and press right up into downward dog. And you can bend one knee, bend the other. Find some length through the sides of your body. Open up through your hamstrings. Maybe twist through your shoulders. Find some space here. We'll just take a few more breaths here. Look to the front of the mat, bend your knees, and step or hop to bring your feet between your hands. Feet are hips width apart. You can measure that by making two fists with your hands and placing them between your big toes. You can bend your knees if you need to to get here. And inhale to lengthen your spine. On the exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift to lengthen through your spine. Then round through your spine to roll all the way up to standing. Big inhale, reach your arms overhead. And on the exhale, press your palms to heart center. Take another inhale, reach your arms all the way up. On the exhale, swan dive forward all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening through your spine. On the exhale, place your hands on the mat and then step or hop to bring yourself back into a plank. Hug your elbows into your sides for chaturanga, bottom of a push-up. Inhale, lift your chest, roll your shoulder blades back, look up toward the ceiling, and on the exhale, lift your hips, press back to downward dog. Okay. On the inhale, lift the right leg all the way up toward the ceiling, three-legged dog. On the exhale, step forward between your hands, lower through your back knee for a low crescent lunge. Walk your hands up to your knee. See if you can sink your weight a little bit further forward. And just make sure that your right knee lines up with your right ankle. On the inhale, reach your arms up toward the ceiling, really opening up through your chest. Big inhale here. Then interlace your fingers, flip your palms, and lift your chest a little bit higher. On the exhale, dropping the left arm, reaching over with the right, lengthening through the right side. Inhale, up through the center. On the exhale, dropping the right arm, reaching over with the left. And we're going to alternate switching sides. Inhale through the center. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to the center. Exhale to the right. For eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Big inhale through the center. On the exhale, hands come to the mat, straightening to the front leg. Then point and flex the right foot a few times. You can try wiggling your toes side to side. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Bending through the right knee. We're going to reach up toward the ceiling with the right arm. And then we're going to bring that right arm down to the mat and heel toe the right foot to the edge of the mat, sinking to the outside edge of your foot, maybe coming down onto your forearms if you have any more space. So we're opening up through that IT band on the right. You can even use your right hand to press against the inside edge of your right thigh. Twist and look up toward the ceiling over the right shoulder. If you've got the space, you can reach back with the right hand and catch that left foot. Twist a little bit deeper. Good. 
Bring your hands to the mat, stepping back into a plank. Hug your elbows into your sides for Chaturanga, bottom of a push-up. Inhale, lifting your chest, upward dog. Take a moment here in your upward dog just to drop your hips side to side. You can soften through your elbows here. Gentle movement just to find a little bit more length and space through your spine. Good. And tuck your toes, lift your hips right back up into downward dog. Good. On the inhale, lift the left leg all the way up toward the ceiling. On the exhale, step forward between your hands. Lower through your back knee. Untuck your back toe. Walk your hands up to your knee. And on the inhale, reach your arms up toward the ceiling. Really open up through your chest and shoulders. This time we'll turn our palms away from each other, cross our wrists, and on the inhale, lift our chest a little bit deeper. Release, drop the left hand to the mat, reaching over with the right. Inhale up through the center. On the exhale, drop the right arm, reaching over with the left. And again, we're all alternating sides, really big inhales, exhales to the opposite side. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Big inhale, back up through the center. On the exhale, bringing your hands down to the mat, straighten through the left leg for half splits. You can try pointing and flexing your left foot a few times. Maybe drop your toes side to side. And inhale to lengthen your spine. On the exhale, fold forward over the left leg. Inhale, lift your chest, bend through the left knee, reach up with the left arm. Then bring that left arm up the inside of that left leg, heel toe your foot to the edge of the mat, mat on the left, sinking to the outside edge of your foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and on the exhale, maybe come down onto your forearms if you have any more space. Maybe take the left hand, press against the inside edge of the left knee, twist and look up over the left shoulder. Then bend the right knee, reach back with the left hand, see if you can catch your foot or ankle, twisting and looking up toward the ceiling. Bring your forearms back to the mat. If you can't reach the ground quite yet with your forearms, you'll step back into a plank from here. Otherwise, we're going to step back into a plank directly from our forearms. We're going to drop your heels side to side to begin to activate your obliques. For eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Bring your hands back to the mat and bend your elbows for Chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest for Upward Dog, and on the exhale, lift your hips, press back to Downward Dog. On the inhale, lift the right leg all the way up toward the ceiling. On the exhale, bring your knee to your nose, rounding through your spine. Inhale, extend all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up. Exhale, crunch. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. See if you can sweep that right leg behind the left. Then bend through the left knee to sink your right heel toward the ground. 
You can stay right here, or if you want to be extra adventurous with this, you can take the right hand and reach toward your left ankle. Good. Come back through your downward dog. Switching sides. Inhale, lift the left leg all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, crunch for eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Sweep the left leg behind the right, bend the right knee, really drive your left heel toward the ground. And again, if you want to be extra adventurous, take the left hand and reach toward your right ankle. And then release, hands come back to the mat, stepping your feet back to parallel. Maybe bring them a little bit wider on your mat and then walk your hands back to your feet. Grab your elbows and rock gently side to side. Back to neutral. Slowly roll all the way up to standing. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, press your palms to heart center. And inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, swan dive back to your mat. We're going to bring our hands just a little bit in front of us. We're going to heel toe our feet so that they come closer together. Then hop to bring our feet between our hands. And then come to a seat on our mat. Then lift your hips, slide your hips forward, and roll down onto your back. We're going to bring our arms along our sides, bring our heels toward our hips. On the inhale, we're going to lift our hips up toward the ceiling. Then we're going to lower our hips down so we gently touch the mat. Then inhale, press toward the ceiling. When you lower down, see if you can press your lower back onto the mat. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press. Exhale, lower. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Keep your hips pressing high. You're going to extend the right leg up toward the ceiling. Bend the right knee. Place it on top of the left thigh. Then lower your hips back to the mat. Inhale, press your hips high. Exhale, lower back down. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switching side, extend that right leg back up, lower it to the mat. Inhale, lift the left leg, cross it over the right ankle, the right ankle over the left knee. Then lower your hips down, tap the mat. Inhale, press up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Lower your hips all the way back down. We're going to tuck our knees into our chest and then spread our knees wide, making circles with our knees on the ceiling that open up through our hips. Good. Then try those circles in reverse. Okay. We're going to straighten through our legs. Spreading our legs wide so our toes go out to the sides. Think of externally rotating your thighs so you really open up through your hips. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, and on the exhale, we're going to crunch to reach between our legs. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, crunch. If you have a sensitive neck here, you can keep one hand behind the back of your neck. Then inhale, reach your arms overhead, switch sides. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach arms overhead. Exhale, crunch. Or just keep both arms extended. 
for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Keep reaching between your legs. We're just going to pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Interlace fingers behind the back of your head. You're going to sweep your legs together. Take a moment to point and flex your feet. Legs are extending up toward the ceiling. If you don't have a very good hamstring flexibility, you can keep a slight bend in your knees and draw your knees to your chest. Otherwise, we'll try to keep our legs extended here. Good. And then inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, crunch so you reach up toward your toes. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Again, this time spread your legs wide, and on the exhale, crunch again to reach between your toes. Inhale, sweep your legs together, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach, legs go wide, and exhale, crunch. Good, and we're just alternating, reaching toward our toes, and then reaching between our legs. For eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Awesome. Bend through your knees. Come into a reverse tabletop position. We're going to sweep our arms along our sides. We're going to reach with the left arm and then reach with the right arm and we're just punching through our obliques. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Interlace your fingers behind the back of your head. Straighten through the right leg. Bring the, the right elbow to your left knee to cross. Right into bicycles. We'll alternate sides. Left elbow to right knee. And just alternating right and left. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees into your chest. Just draw gentle circles on the ceiling with your knees to massage through your lower back. And then try those circles in reverse. Rock forward and back until you bring yourself all the way to the front of the mat. Straighten through your legs right into your forward fold. Just take a moment here to lengthen through your spine, folding nice and deep. And inhale to lengthen through your spine. And on the exhale, see if you can sink a little bit deeper. Inhale for length. Slide your hands under your feet. You can bend your knees if you need to to get here. Find a little more space on the inhale and on the exhale, fold forward. Then release your hands, slowly roll all the way up to standing, stacking the vertebrae of your spine all the way up. Big inhale, reach your arms overhead. And on the exhale, pressing your palms to heart center. Another inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive, chest first, all the way down, reaching through your toes. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening through your spine. Place your hands on the mat and step or hop right back into a plank. Hug your elbows into your sides, chaturanga, bottom foot push-up. Inhale, lift your chest for upward dog, and on the exhale, lift your hips, press right back into downward dog. Then inhale, lift the right leg all the way up toward the ceiling. On the exhale, step forward between your hands, flatten through your back heel for warrior one on the inhale. On the exhale, warrior two, bringing your arms out to the sides. Then inhale, straighten through the front leg, bring your arms all the way up toward the ceiling. 
On the exhale, right back into your warrior two. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Awesome. Right back into our warrior two. We're going to flip the right palm, reach forward, up and back to reverse triangle, straightening through the front leg. Really reach and lengthen with that top, top arm. And on the exhale, sweep that right arm all the way down into triangle. And you can land on your shin here, or you can come all the way down to the mat, looking up toward the ceiling. On the inhale, reach up and back, using all that core strength to lengthen through the right side. On the exhale, right back down to triangle. And we're going to alternate, we're reaching up and back, lengthening, and exhale, right back into triangle for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and last one. Let's cartwheel all the way back down to the mat. Step back into our plank. Hug our elbows into our sides for chaturanga. Inhale, lift our chest, upward dog. And on the exhale, lift our hips, press back to downward dog. We'll take a few breaths here, find a little bit more length through our spine. On the inhale, lift the left leg all the way up, three-legged dog. On the exhale, step forward between your hands, flattening through your back heel. On the inhale, warrior one. And on the exhale, warrior two. And inhale, reach your arms up, straighten through the front leg. On the exhale, right back into warrior two. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, lower. Inhale, reach. And lower for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and last one. Finishing right in warrior two. We'll flip the left palm, reach forward, up and back, reverse triangle, straightening through the front leg. Big inhale here and the exhale, cartwheel all the way down either to your shin or to the mat for triangle. Inhale, reach up and back, reverse triangle. Exhale, right back into whichever variation of triangle you're at. Inhale, reach and lengthen. Exhale, lower. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and last one. Cartwheel all the way back down onto your mat, stepping back into a plank. Lower all the way down onto your belly, untuck your toes. Bring your elbows forward so they line up with your shoulders. And on the inhale, we're going to draw our chest forward, looking up toward the ceiling for sphinx. So Sphinx Pose helps to open up through your upper back. So think of lifting your chest, looking up towards the ceiling, but not so high that you're kinking the back of your neck. Good. See if you can begin to straighten through your arms. 
Draw your chest forward a little bit more and look up toward the ceiling. Then walk your hands underneath you. We're going to lift our hips, bend our knees, and sit back into a child's pose. Walk your hands together, press your palms together, bend your elbows and bring your thumbs toward the back of your neck. Release your hands, walk your hands over to the right side, placing the left hand on top of the right. And walk your hands over to the left side, place the right hand on top of the left. Good. Back through the center. We're going to walk our hands back to our um, knees, tuck our toes, lift our knees, and take a moment to balance in a tiptoe balance. So knees are squeezing together, and we'll press our palms. You can lift your chest just a little bit more. Good. Then sink your heels back toward the ground and begin to straighten your legs and fold forward. And grab your ankles or anywhere along your leg. Think of pulling your navel to your spine and rounding through your back. And what we're doing here is we are lengthening through our lower back. Then release your hands, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Take inhale, reach your arms overhead, and on the exhale, pressing your palms to heart center. Take another inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, place your hands on the mat, and just hop yourself down into a seat on your mat. We're going to come down onto our left side, or whichever side so that you can face the camera, so you can see where you are. You can see me on the screen. You're going to bend through your top knee, and you're going to open up through your hip. Make sure that you have a straight line all the way through your body here. So you've got a nice foundation here. You can even sink your hips back ever so slightly so that you draw your toes forward so that you have a little bit of a concave shape here just so that you're more balanced. Good. That top leg that you bent, you're going to lower it behind that bottom leg, and then you're going to flex that bottom foot and you're just going to lift it up toward the ceiling, then lower down to tap the mat. Lifting and lowering, squeezing through your glutes, strengthening the inside of that leg for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Bring your toes together. Lift your toes off the mat. And we're just going to do little flutter kicks forward and back, keeping our core nice and tight. If you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you can reach your top arm up toward the ceiling. Core is super tight here for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that bottom leg onto the mat and take that top arm, reach it overhead. This will be your inhale. On the exhale, bring your knee and elbow together. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Make this harder by lifting that bottom leg off the ground and floating it as you crunch that knee and elbow together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lengthen for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Awesome. Tuck your knees into your chest. See if it can sweep all the way over to the opposite side. So now we're going to lie on the right side or the opposite side, depending on where you were. 
Make sure you've got a nice foundation here. Maybe draw your toes forward or scoot your hips back just slightly. You're gonna bend through that top knee, place it behind that bottom leg, and we're just gonna flex the right foot and lift and lower it back down onto the mat. Lifting and lowering. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Lower that right leg. Bring your legs together. We'll lift your toes and then little flutter kicks on the opposite side. Little forward and back kicks. Maybe make it harder by lifting that top arm. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower back to the mat. Inhale, reach up and over with that top arm on the exhale. Bring your knee and elbow together. Inhale, reach, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Make it harder by floating that bottom leg. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. We're going to roll over onto our belly. We're going to create a little shelf to rest our forehead. And then we're going to squeeze our glutes and we're going to lift the left leg, lower it down to the mat, and then lift the right leg and lower it down to the mat. So just alternating, lifting and lowering, squeezing our glutes. This helps to strengthen through your glutes and also your lower back. Okay. For eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Awesome. We're going to walk our hands in front of us, lifting our chest. Reach your arms as far forward as you can. Then on the inhale, press your toes into the mat. Then reach your arms up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower. You can rest your forehead on the mat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower. Other options for this would be to bend your elbows. So you can rest your forehead on your elbows, elbows on your forearm, and then lift and lower. You can also bring your arms along your side. So this will be the easiest variation. Lift and lower. And this strengthens through, also through your back. So lifting and lowering, squeezing your abs and glutes nice and tight here as you lift and lower. So we've got lots of variations here that you can try. You're inhaling on the lift, exhaling as you lower. We've got eight more counts here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wherever you're at, interlace your hands behind the back of your head. And we're just going to rock gently side to side so you can lift your chest a little bit more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Place your hands on the mat. Lift your hips. Sink right back into a child's pose, keeping, keeping your knees together. Allow your forehead to rest on the mat. Then reach back and catch your heels. Bring your forehead a little bit closer to your knees, resting the top of your head on the mat, and see if you can lift your hips up toward the ceiling. Rabbit pose. And then release, lifting your chest. Big inhale, reaching your arms overhead. Now face back toward the front. Make it a little bit easier to see. Big inhale here. Exhale, dropping the left arm, we'll reach over with the right. 
Big inhale, reach your arms all the way up toward the ceiling. Exhale, drop the right arm, reaching over with the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. If you want to try a little bit different variation of this, on that exhale, see if you can bend that top elbow. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, and fold. Good. Inhale, reach. And lengthen. Exhale, fold. Awesome. We've got two more here. And last one. Reach, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big inhale. Reach your arms overhead. And on the exhale, round through your back and fold forward. Yeah. We're going to come to a seat on our mat, spreading our legs nice and wide so we open up through our hips. We're going to place our hands behind our hips, flex our feet, and on the inhale, we're going to lift our hips, and on the exhale, we're going to spread, uh, press our hips forward, point through our toes, and see if we can open up through our hips just a little bit deeper. Let's try that again. Hands behind the hips on the inhale, flex your feet, lift your hips, exhale, press forward, point through your toes, open up a little bit deeper. On the inhale, we'll reach your arms all the way up toward the ceiling. On the exhale, we're going to fold forward, walking our hands forward. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale to begin to slide your chest down toward the mat. Walk your hands back toward yourself. Big inhale, reach your arms overhead. On the exhale, press your palms to heart center. You're going to take your right hand, place it on top of your right thigh. Inhale, reach up and over with the right arm. We're going to slide all the way down over to the right side. We're going to inhale up through the center. Bring the left hand to the right shin. Then inhale, reach up and over as you slide toward the left side. Inhale to the center. Exhale, slide and fold. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, slide, and fold. Find a little bit more space here with each exhale, with each fold. Try to keep your hip bones on the mat. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and last one. Good. Keep your hands on your ankles or your shins. Inhale, lengthen your spine. On the exhale, begin to fold forward, reaching toward your toes. Think of externally rotating through your hips. Try to bring your chest toward the ground as you fold forward. Slowly roll all the way up to a seat. Bend your knees to open up through your hips. We're going to gently rock side to side. Try to create some space here to really open up our hips. And inhale, lengthen our spine. On the exhale, begin to fold forward. Maybe use your elbows on the inside of your shins to press your knees a little bit closer to the ground. We're going to come back onto our mat, tucking our knees into our chest, grabbing the outside edges of our feet for happy baby. We'll rock gently side to side, maybe forward and back a few times. Tuck your knees back into your chest, lower your feet to the mat, inhale, reach your arms overhead. Gently dropping your knees side to side, releasing any remaining tension from our hips. So we try taking your left hand, grabbing your right wrist and pulling it over to the left side. And then taking your right hand, grabbing your left wrist and pulling it over to the right side. Good. 
back through the center. We'll take a big inhale to lengthen through our spine, straightening everything back out, really opening up and lengthening through your spine. And on the exhale, go ahead and allow your arms to fall to your sides, allow your feet to fall out the sides, making any last minute adjustments here that you need to, to lengthen through your spine, to find yourself in a comfortable position on your mat. We'll close our eyes from here and allow ourselves the last few minutes to just completely relax, melting into our mat and resting in Shavasana. Beginning to awaken from Shavasana, wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing a little bit of healing and life back into your body. When you're ready, gently tuck your knees into your chest, and then gradually rock yourself back up onto your mat in a seat. Find yourself in a comfortable seated position here. We'll allow the back of our wrist to rest on our knees. Closing our eyes. We'll take one last deep inhale from here, reaching our arms overhead, opening, expanding our lungs to the fullest for the last time. On the exhale, pressing our palms to heart center, expressing gratitude for this opportunity to move and feel in our bodies, this opportunity to take the time to practice and push our limits. Thank you for joining me. It was my honor and privilege to guide you in your practice. Namaste.